Number 237 in the Masters of Cinema series is Five Graves to Cairo, directed by Billy Wilder, who must have more Masters of Cinema movies than any other director within this uh, collection of movies. Now, I knew nothing about Five Graves to Cairo, as most of the movies from MOC. I just threw it on and I didn't know the kind of tale we were going to get. We f wake up, uh, or we follow a character as he wakes up inside a tank that's been uh, attacked and somewhat. Most of uh, its other passengers are dead. He stumbles out into the desert, um, starts to stagger into a local town which was once owned by the British Army but it has now just been taken over by the Germans. He goes into a hotel and the owner takes pity on him, hiding him from the German army who's come in here. He knows that he's stuck in this situation. It's now German occupied. He can't escape and he has to make the best of it. So what he decides to do, our Captain John decides to take the place of Paul Davos, a waiter who died in a bombing attack. So he does so takes on that guys, becomes one of them, gets pulled in to the German army, sat down and then through a conversation realises that this Paul Davos, who he's taken over his character, was in fact a German spy. And now he has to play that duality again, while trying to figure out a way to escape and holding back from killing Rommel, who is leading this attack eh, on Cairo, or that's where his next place port of call is going to be. For the first five minutes of this movie, I struggled to kind of bed into it. As soon as we got to that situation where he had to pretend to be a waiter and discovered that he was pretending to be a spy as well, I was fully invested. I loved a lot of the characters we have here. We've got Anne Baxter as Mush, a French maid who, who works there, who has a reason for being there. She wants to get to the Germans for a, a specific personal reason. We've got Farid, um, the man who owns the hotel, who is almost uh, having a heart attack at every moment because of the situations that arise. It's full of tense and fun sequences throughout the movie. Moments where they're very playful with the camera, very playful with the situation uh, and the tense and suspenseful nature of things that, that transpire. You always feel that our undercover British agent is going to be caught at some point, who's going to find himself um, in really tight situations where he's having to pretend to have further knowledge of things. He wants to also stay there and figure out what's the German army's plans and how he can thwart it and get out of that situation. It's great, it's wonderfully performed and it has this real sense of dread in it. You have a real sense of weight, things could go wrong. It does have a little bit of propaganda in it as well, but at the time the movie was released, I wouldn't expect anything less. But to be honest, the filmmaking, the idea of people within this hotel, the, the little um, stories that are going on between the characters within the hotel are all incredibly fun and playful or dangerous and suspenseful. Either way, they're all great circumstances. There's a moment of an air raid where they're down in the basement and we have a suspicious officer talking to uh, Davos and it just builds that suspense because you kind of know what's going to happen and you're just waiting for the worm to turn almost and it's incredibly suspenseful and incredibly fun and leads to a great action set piece as well. If there's one sort of point, uh, poignant point to this movie it would probably be the story of Mush, this character who is trying to do things for a personal reason which I won't spoil here and who ultimately has uh, an ending that is unexpected so to speak. I, I thought it was going to go one way, it didn't and again that kind of fits into a little bit of the propaganda of the time and kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy of what she expected to happen as well which is really quite good. Great performances, great comedic moments, great suspenseful moments, intense moments, it looks great. Um, I heard lots of rumours about the transfer not being great here. I had no issues with it at all and I found a movie that was really engaging, really suspenseful, very different from what I expected and after those first 
few minutes where I didn't really know where the story was going to being suddenly fully invested and really enjoying the dialogue and the performances and the way the camera moves and reveals things. Real sense of danger in this movie while still keeping that fun adventure idea to it as well. I'd strongly recommend Five Graves to Cairo. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.